La battaglia di Legnano, libretto by Salvatore Camarano. First performance on the 27th of January, 1849, at the Teatro Argentina, Rome. Five Days of Milan in 1848, one of the most important revolutionary uprisings for Italian independence, was a source of inspiration for the patriotic character in the new opera that Verdi was composing at the time. On the 4th of April 1848, he wrote to his friend and librettist Piave, Imagine whether I wanted to stay in Paris when I heard that there was a revolution in Milan. I left immediately when I heard the news, but I've been unable to see anything except those marvellous barricades. All honour to our brave champions. Honour to all Italy, who at this moment is really great. Milan 1176. The crowd cheers the victory of the valiant soldiers of the Lombard League that has united the cities of Verona, Brescia, Novara, Vercelli and Piacenza, joining forces against the Emperor Federico Barbarossa. Among the soldiers is Arrigo, who was believed to have died in battle, but who has been nursed back to health by his mother. Arrigo finds his friend and companion in arms, Rolando. Verdi entrusts a tender romanza to Rolando, accompanied by the unusual combination of flute and bassoon. Lida, Rolando's wife, was once betrothed to Arrigo, but believing he was dead, has married Rolando. Arrigo is unable to hide his unhappiness, and after a dramatic encounter with Lida, he leaves her in despair. In a room of the town hall of Como, Arrigo and Rolando attempt to convince the council of magistrates and city fathers to join forces with the League. Federico Barbarossa arrives and brutally states his will. He will destroy Milan and all the cities of the League. Arrigo and Rolando reply by singing the praises of an Italy that is free from foreign invasion. In a subterranean vault in the Basilica of St. Ambrose, Arrigo makes a solemn oath and joins the Knights of Death, a group who are prepared to die rather than suffer defeat or imprisonment in order to free the fatherland. Lida is tormented with worry 
over Arrigo's vow. She writes a letter and gives it to her maid, Imelda, to deliver to Arrigo. <laughs> But Rolando arrives, and in one of the most moving pieces of the opera, bids farewell to his wife and son. <laughs> Lida's letter to Arrigo is intercepted by Marco Valdo, a German prisoner who hands it over to Rolando. In the letter, Lida pleads with Arrigo, in the name of their past love, to meet her before the battle. Rolando is shocked. He accuses his wife and friend Arrigo of betrayal and vows to take revenge. Rolando imprisons Arrigo to prevent him from leaving with the Knights of Death. Arrigo, in despair, throws himself from the balcony to join the fighters because, in accordance with his oath, he would rather be dead than not fight. <laughs> News reaches Milan that Barbarossa has been defeated and gravely wounded by Arrigo. But Arrigo himself has been mortally wounded during battle. On his deathbed, Arrigo assures his friend Rolando that Lida is innocent. Rolando believes his friend and makes peace with him and Lida. Arrigo dies in the name of his fatherland. La Battaglia di Legnano is considered the last of Giuseppe Verdi's early works. It has a dramatic sensitivity that essentially derives from the fact that it is his first opera to be entirely conceived following his encounter with Shakespeare and Macbeth. In this opera, Verdi begins to experiment with an intimacy, above all in the duets, that was an anticipation of what was to follow in the next opera, Luisa Miller, and later to be heard more fully in La Traviata. However, La Battaglia di Legnano remains an opera that was intentionally written in grandiose style and hints at the French Grande Opera that Verdi had become familiar with a short time earlier on the occasion of Jerusalem. In particular, the overture, in which it is possible to recognize the echo of the Marseillaise, is emblematic of this style. And it is precisely the values of freedom and independence that are the inspiration for La Battaglia di Legnano. Italy in 1848 was the country of the Risorgimento, of revolts and barricades. Verdi was looking for a subject that would celebrate the new Italy. After first having considered Colla di Rienzo, based on Bulwer Lytton's The Last of the Tribunes, already composed by Wagner a few years earlier, and Guerazzi's Assedio di Firenze, Verdi was persuaded by his librettist, Camerano, who suggested the celebration of an event that took place in the medieval history of northern Italy, the defeat of Federico Barbarossa by the Lombard League. And it was with the following words that Camerano managed to convince Verdi. A story like that should stir every man with an Italian soul in his breast. In the classification of Verdi's most performed operas in the world, La Battaglia di Legnano comes in 25th place.
in the classification of the most performed operas in the world, La Battaglia di Legnano comes in 1,443rd place. Thank you.